How's it going, mates? This is... We're back! Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. We've got some poet up in the court here. A troubadour, if you will. And he's made a poem for all the community about nightmares. That's what the game's suggesting, I guess. I, I still don't get what that toad's actually meant to mean. Like, who is the troubadour? What does... Like, it must have a different name in Japanese. I'm searching that next time. But... Last time, I said I would search and find out why I actually have to do to get Serenity and Dox out. Now, I've looked into the statistics and stuff. Basically, in order to actually get Serenity out in the first place, I needed to beat both Joey and Yama Yugi. So it's actually fair enough I got Mogiba, to be honest, because, well, it was just like one of those odds things, and in the end, I got the odds in my favor. So, now that that's done... I can try and find Serenity. I've got all the requirements. She appears at day as far as I know. I only know that based on a wikia page I found. It could be completely wrong. It could be like I need to wait for it to rain or some shit. Um, I don't know if there's any specific town she was in. I could try this place though. This seems promising. Uh, oh! Okay, that wasn't even that hard. <laughs> okay, fine. But in order to get Serenity, you need to beat Yama Yugi at night. I think he's a night person. And Joey. So that, that one actually didn't work out so bad. Hi, I'm Serenity Wheeler. My big brother Joey loves dueling so much that he got me hooked too. That never happened. You didn't even know how to play the game against that robot knight. If it's alright, will you duel me? Yes, I will. I'll duel the living shit out of you. I'm not really a Serenity fan. I prefer Tear when it comes to looks, but you know. Again, these guys, I was basically raised with these guys. So it feels like, you know, fucking your older sister or something. You just don't do that because you have like a nice comforting feeling towards her because she's family and you trust her and I'm talking about molesting. Okay, uh, let's just go away from that bit. Okay, I don't know how sh good she's going to be. Logically, she'll be shit. But, okay, she's just using a decent field card. That's interesting. Right. And that's it. Huh. Alright, well this already seems, like, far more strategic than anything Mokuba would throw at me. I don't know what that card in her hand is either, but I'm going to assume it's something not too bad. Right, so what does this do? Because the defense all defense position monsters. I could use that. Uh... So what I'm going to do is take things nice and easy. Maybe, you know, use their strategies against them. And then we'll see how this goes. Regardless, I think I've got enough strength to deal with Serenity. Oh, and I found something else out as well. So you know how I said I was playing the game wrong? Like, all that time trying to grind, level up, and do that shit, and, you know, do all that bullshit. Well, I wasn't actually that correct when I said that. Um, I didn't realize that in order to start the Beginner's Cup, I need to be level 8. I call bullshit on that. On the other hand, at least I did kind of take the time to level up and stuff. Because now I actually don't need to work that hard towards the goal in which I want to have. So, you know, like, it's not the best news in the world, but it's not the worst news. I need to get level 8 before I get anywhere. But first things first, what I can do, I can play Serenity, I can play Docs, and then... Well, to be honest, I'll need to, like, get out to level 8, but that's fine. You know, I can grind this game. I actually kind of like this game. Like, I miss playing the original Get What The Fuck Is That? Oh, God. Is she going to be one of those desperate healers? That although you're absolutely slaughtering them, they have infinite life points. Because they're an infinite dick. Uh, increase, your life points, uh, increase your life points by 500 for each numinous healer. Oh, she better not have more than one. I bet all three of them were numinous healers. Just, just She can do whatever she can just to bone me over. Alright, fine. Thus far, I don't have too much to worry about. I'm worried she might have a, a trap card. She can have a mirror force. Maybe her and Yugi are getting it on. And Yugi lets Serenity borrow a mirror, or his mirror force even. Oh god, I really hope that's not the case. But I could somehow see the game doing that. You know, Serenity could be a level 5. She's known to, like, destroy people in the anime. Alright, fine. Uh... So I'll attack for this. It's probably still got something good and defensive, right? Oh, Unhappy Maiden. That's not so bad. I know it does something good when it's being attacked. What does it do? What effect did you do to me? Uh, did you end the battle phase? Oh, good. You did. 
Well, I might as well drink to my sorrows, have a nice bit of red medicine. Cool! Well, at least I've got a ton of life points, but... Yeah, okay, maybe she's not the best player ever. Although, if I did go against a decent player, what's going to happen? I'm going to get frustrated about losing. I'll shout at the screen and be like, why are you doing this to me, game? And the game won't reply because it doesn't have a mouth. Oh, I forgot I put this in my deck. <laughs> cool. I don't need it because I can't really attack unless I want to lose all my life points. But I'm not really Harvey Two-Face. So I'm not going to do that. I don't know, I'll set my skull angle. Maybe I'll get to draw next turn. I might need it. You don't know. Maybe Serenity will get an Egyptian God card out. I mean, if she's sleeping with Yugi, I don't know why I'm so sure that she's sleeping with Yugi, but it's possible. Okay, well, regardless. So, I think my cats might have a cold. I didn't really think cats did that. But as you know, living organisms, I guess it makes sense. The only reason I think that is, they're all in the living room, they're all sleeping and stuff, which is fine, you know, cats do that regularly. Oh god, you do have multiple? Are you need, like infinite life points now? Oh god, this is like trying to squash a cockroach that doesn't want to die. It's just like you get a fucking machine gun shooter and it's just like, ah, oh, no, I'm fine, I'll stay alive if that's alright. Alright, fine. I'm gonna get my skull angle to give me some new card, please. But yeah, I was stroking the head, seeing if they were alright. One of them sneezed, I was like, oh, are you alright, babe? And you know, strokes his head. Then I went around to the other cat, and then one of them sneezed on my hand. I was like, great, now I've got to burn my hand off. I've, I've got to be Captain James Hook. New YouTube channel name, James Hook. Why not? I've got to, I've got to fuck that Peter Pan over. Not fit. Wow, she looks depressed. <laughs> I didn't notice. Serenity looks depressed when she gets attacked. Look at that face. She looks like she's sick of the game, like she doesn't want to fucking play anymore. Wow, okay. That <laughs> I kind of find that funny, only because she seems like the kind of person who would be like, oh, I'm not this shit again, why do I keep losing? Alright, I'll attack with man, I don't really need to attack man eating chess, but fuck it. Cool, have a nice lick, maybe take a necklace for yourself, take it to the royal ball. Alright, cool. So you've only got 250 life points. Uh, cool. You know what, I'm going to win this game anyway. I might attack my Jurai Gummo. I want to half my life points if that's okay. I and mean, he seems like a huggable kind of guy. He wouldn't take half my life points. <laughs> no siree, I can trust Jurai Gummo. I mean, I only put him in the deck because he has like a strong offense that could be handy if like, you know, something half decent comes to attack me. Uh Heads? Maybe? Oh, well, there goes half my life points. Oops. Oh, but I still get to... Oh, okay, it didn't matter. <laughs> well, you know what? Called it wrong, but I don't fucking care. Maybe I'll get a new bonus for it. Maybe I'll get, like, you know, a decent amount of fucking... Dual point or Kyber Court points now. Yeah, fine, I'm still levels away from what I need to do. Hmm. Well, I could get a new card pack. But I'm only level 4. I didn't notice that. Which means I'm going to have to grind this game a bit before I can get anything done. I couldn't win this time, but I'm not giving up. Good for you. I believe in you, Serenity. You little slag. Right. So there's not going to be much I can do for a while. I need to wait till night time and try and find docks. And then we all know what's going to happen. I'll fucking find someone else I don't want to find instead. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna get new cards. Hopefully something good for my deck. Uh, I mean, I'd love to like complete my broken seal, but I don't think it's gonna be that useful whatever I find in there. All right, fine, I'm just gonna do it. Yeah, this one, perfect. Give me this one. Open that, what we got? I think I've got all of those, except, well, the last two I haven't got, but what am I going to, how is removing five cards from someone's graveyard going to help me? I, mean, I suppose I can get a Moki Moki King if I get more Moki Mokis, but I somehow don't think that's going to happen. Great. Cool, well, that was useless, but I at least get, okay, I'm at 67%, so, I mean, I guess I'm nearly there with this card pack, it's just I don't really care. Nothing, it doesn't feel like I'm looking forward to anything in these card packs. I mean, what can I look forward to in them? I can't even use a Great Moth. 
All right, fine. That was a waste of time. Uh, Demon Sun's still there. That's good. The outside is so blurry. It's like when you have, like, old man vision. And you're just like, oh, where do I go? I can't see anything. <laughs> then again, I guess that's how these old games work, to be honest. Yeah, well. Can't believe... Well, I actually can believe this was the last game in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, as Yugi Moto as a protagonist before it turned into Jaden Yuki. And then they kind of experimented with him. They're like, oh yeah, we'll just get him to be just like Yugi at first. Because I think they did that in like a dual uh, tournament championship thing. Like, they kind of made him a bit more, you know, serious first, I, th I think. But then that's based on one or two images of him I saw before I actually, you know... Well, I haven't even played the game yet, so what am I saying? But I can kind of believe this is the last Yu-Gi-Oh game with Yugi Moto in it. Because the main villain's Yami Merrick. It doesn't feel like the game is really foreshadowing anything anymore. I hear even like the Kaiba, well, Noah Kaiba and Gozaburo Kaiba's in this game. So I guess it's kind of like racking everything up. But it doesn't necessarily feel like this game's doing much new. Because it has loads of posters and stuff from old games. I suppose the music's nice and interesting. But, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'm just making shit up. I just kind of feel like, you know, there's something lacking innovation here. Right, what's over here? Have I got Docs? Who was that? That was... Oh, that was Bones. Oh, wow, you have black hair in this one. The name's Bones. My zombies will drag you six feet under. Is this a shadow game? I actually want one of those. Spook and Boo. All right, cool. I don't know if you're a nice guy or not. I mean, I thought you were nice enough. But you might, you know, use your pumpkin and bone me over. This is where I find out that I... Because I haven't saved the game, I've practically boned myself. Really should have done that, but didn't think to. Because I'm an idiot. Okay, well, snake hair. That's not too exciting. I could paralyze that snake hair if I wanted to. Alright. This music sounds slightly different. I don't know if that means something, though. I'm going to go on a defensive play. Then maybe I can copycat if he gets something decent out. But I think he's going to get a pumpkin out and use that kind of strategy. Which means I won't really be able to copy him that well. Oh, what's that? Shit, okay. Well, I was hoping not to get... Alright, cool. So he did the stupid move first. That's fine. Yes. Good. Uh, that's going to get rid of my gun. Hmm, okay. All right, not the best start of the game, but it's not too devastating. I can still win this. Giant Soldier Stone, that could be handy later. Do I see if he can sacrifice two monsters? I'm sure Pumpkin is... He's... I think he's a level six. Or maybe he's level five, actually. I don't know. But zombies that have... Level 7 or more stars. The one that comes instantly to mind is Red Eye Zombie Dragon. I can't think of a zombie this guy has that's level 7 or higher. But I'm going to risk... Oh, okay, I don't know. I didn't even press that button there. I'm going to risk this. I'm going to put in defense because I can't think of a monster he's going to have. And I really should try and use my copycat in this game. And, you know, I don't know what the face downs are. So I could potentially be risking my life here. All right, well, you got all your favorite zombies out. It feels just like the game against Joey, to be honest. This is where you do Call of the Haunted and I can't destroy your monsters and I get pissed off at that. All right, well, oh, Jesus, he gets pissed when he gets hurt. Wow, he needs some anger management classes. All right, reinforcements of the arm. That, that could potentially come in handy. Uh, all right, I, I want to try and get some decent stuff out first. So I'm going to set Man Eater, make you work hard, make you spend hard, and then see if I can get rid of one of his monsters, maybe the dragon zombie, because that's the strongest one. Okay, but so far this doesn't seem so bad, it's already turned seven. Ah, he's sacrificing, okay. That is terrible. Why on earth did you do that? <laughs> that is your sacrifice? Crawling dragon. That That is actually depressing. Alright, well, whatever. I guess I can get rid of it. <laughs> but I'm surprised that it's not really a zombie. I know it was in the anime. You know, I know that 
You know, he had that in his hand, so he definitely has it in his deck, but... Okay, cool. I mean, logically, that means he has to stop defense someone. I don't want to see one of those. Okay, fine. Well... Oh, what's that? Skull into... Oh, good. Well, I'm not going to be able to chain much with it. I don't want to get reinforcements out. Rope of Life. That could come in handy. Is that when a monster gets destroyed? Sent to the graveyard as a battle. Okay. Hmm. That's not going to come in handy quite yet, then, is it? Nah, fuck it. I'll set Hain Hain just in case. Maybe he'll sacrifice another monster and I can just laugh at him. But somehow I don't think Bones is going to be that. I bet he's like a one or two star thus far. Oh, now you've got that clown. Oh, and he seems much more lively. Right, he can actually do some damage though if he switches into defense mode. So I need, I need to be careful with this twat. Right, now I'm not going to make the enemy stronger if that's okay. I'm going to activate the effect of a card. No. Yeah, thanks for destroying Hain Hain. You know, comparing axe sizes. Clearly yours is bigger. I like it when you do that. You get the bigger one out, you fucking gay lord. Right, go away. I don't want you to switch to defense mode. Cool. Well, at least that wasted a turn of summoning. Oh, I don't lose life points because my monster's in the graveyard. Oh, good. Hmm. Maybe I should... Oh, wait. I got a Whiptail Crow. That's perfect. Right. Do that. I'm going to set... Paralyzing Potion just in case. And then I'm going to attack. Cool, and now I'm actually going to start winning the game. So, yes! Oh, I didn't even have anything. Well, I suppose I should have figured that, to be honest. You know, because, you know, I'm, I'm actually... I've been to university. So I should know what 2 plus 2 is. Okay, does he lose life points then? Oh, he does. Cool. So now his car's working against him. That's a relief. Okay, but thus far I'm having... Oh, Skull Lair. Oh, that's when he can remove monsters and he'll get rid of a... Is he going to get rid of my giant soldier of stone? Or is he going to... Really? Really? Okay, I mean, if you're that desperate to. It's not going to do that much good, though, is it? Alright, fine. Okay, so you're leaving that in attack for some reason. I don't know why you do that, but if you really must. Right, circle will come in handy later, but I don't need need it. I'm going to get out copycat. So only got one star, so it's not going to last long. That's my logic here. So get you. Yes. Then. Start attacking shit. Maybe use. I'll see if I can get rid of this guy first. No, not yet. Okay, that's not going to be strong enough. Yeah, oh, he's trying to play musical statues there. Look at him, he's not even moving now. Last time he was like, da -da 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 -da, and now he's just not doing anything with his life. You know? All right, Scott Invitation, you lose life points. Then I can slap him in the dick. But you do have everything to get rid of my copycat, unfortunately. Which isn't a huge surprise, but I'm not too fussed about that. Cool, you lose life points. That guy's gonna die. Bye, friend. He's probably like, got like a million other zombies in his hands, so this might be a slow game. And because of that, I think I'm gonna end the episode here whilst the game is still playing to do its thing. So yeah, it's good to find other players in the game, to be honest. I think like now I can go nighttime dueling and I'll be able to find like new players and all that. I might be able to actually get something done in the game. But you know what? We still need to find docs. That could take a few years. I heard someone like did 32 wins against fucking Serenity and 19 against docs before they got to the point where they had to actually challenge docs and save Serenity's life. So that's going to be fun. Might be able to make like a thousand part let's play at this rate. But yeah, if you want to play the game for yourself before I take like years to complete the game, there'll be a link to the game in the description down below. Without further ado, look at which chance it's time. See ya.